The women's basketball team has played seven games so far in this unpredictable COVID-19 season. And they are sporting winning records in conference play at 3-2 and two, and are 4-3 and three overall. While there have been a few postponements and a few last-second cancellations, the team has been able to stick together and play good basketball. It's a lot. It's, um, I mean, you know, the other day we were packed up, ready to go to Fort Lewis, and then four hours later, we're not going, we're waiting on a test. So it's a lot of um, just, you know, you know, kind of play it by ear, play, you know, every day is different. You always want to get a little bit better every week or every day in practice, and you can see that every day and every week. You know, we're, we're going to play Mesa this week, and I was looking at game film from the last time we played them, I was like, oh my God, we're not even the same team now. I mean, just, it, it, it looked like it's a team that's trying to get to know each other and you have three freshmen that are playing and not much experience and we're having to go to a team that plays very well at home, ranked team who has eight seniors. That's kind of what it looked like. So it's, it's nice to see the progression and that's what you know, you want in any season really is that we're getting better. Senior forward Morgan Lewis opted out of the first half of the season due to the virus. But once she felt comfortable enough to come back, she was raring to step on that court and make a difference for her squad. Yeah, really good. Uh, I was definitely nervous like coming back just because I, I, you know, there were so many new girls, but um, right away, just right off the bat, everyone was so welcoming, loving, and it feels like we've been teammates forever. It wasn't, it was fun. Like it just kind of like a lot of adrenaline, a lot of motivation, a lot of like, I'm, you know, I can, I'll do what I can to help. Um, they were super supportive. You know, they helped me through plays and stuff like that. And, you know, once I got that second wind after that, you know, a couple times down, it felt good. Coach Javi says Morgan came back at a crucial point of the season. It was soon after sophomore sensation Jayla Richardson went down with a season ending injury. So Morgan is now playing more forward this year as opposed to playing guard last season. Can't even begin to tell you how much we appreciate her coming back, uh, especially with Jayla's injury. Uh, because of that, she's had to play a little bit more inside. We were kind of slowly getting her to a, a perimeter player, and we definitely want to get back to that if we could. But her versatility is so nice that you can put her inside or outside. Um, but she's meant a lot. Um, I've been playing a lot more inside, obviously, with Jayla going down. Um, definitely needed there more but um, you know today I worked on going out a little bit so it just changes and I can be wherever they need me to be. <laughs> Another bright spot of the season has been the play of new senior transfer in Ali Navarrete. She came to the Roadrunners with the ability to find the bottom of the net and boy has she come as advertised. You know we, we definitely knew she was a scorer and needed, needed that scoring and she is a scorer and she's She's also very, really receptive to all the little things that, that, that the nuances of, you know, you get to be a junior senior, then it's less, you know, you still develop your skills, but it's more about decision making or doing this or making reads or, or things like that. And she's been very receptive to, to all of that. So some of those little things, you know, that she's adapting to, but absolutely the scoring, rebounding that, that we were looking for, she's, she's been great. This team has come a long way since the season started back in November, and they are feeling quite confident as they head towards those RMAC playoffs in March. Trying to just focus on what we're doing. I, we, we had a brief conversation about the COVID last week. Hey, we haven't had any positive tests. Keep doing what you're doing because you, we still might do everything right. You could still test positive. So keep doing what we're doing. Uh, really the big focus is on just trying to get better every day and in terms of COVID if we have to not play a game we just deal with it when we deal with it. We deal with it and then we move on. It's just always moving forward, moving forward. I, I'm just grateful that we're playing and practicing. We've had about as normal of an existence in terms of being able to practice non-stop as anybody so really grateful for that. So any day that we get, just grateful for. And you know that there's a possibility. We sat in the gym for four hours on Saturday, didn't get a test back, couldn't play, couldn't play on Monday. So, okay, then we just move on. 